Hey friends, thanks for joining me for another video. Um, as always, we have a lot to get into with this Timu haul, so we're gonna get right into it. Um, let me get some of this out here to make it easier for me. And guys, we've got a little bit of everything in this video. A little bit of everything. This is a, a real mixed haul, so, and I don't have it well organized. I'm just going into the bags and just taking stuff out. But this first item, I did open and glance at. It came with no plastic outer. It just came with, um, in a little bubble mailer type thing within the larger bag, but it had no plastic over it. And I think the other one I'm hauling does have plastic over it. I don't know, it must be two different sellers. But anyway, the first thing is this palette. Wow, that's beautiful. For somebody who's into purples and blues and greens, that's gorgeous. And guys, I don't think this is a dupe by any means, but I thought it might be an alternative to the ABH Norvina purple palette. It has a lot of the same shades in it. You can't really tell. God, my screen on this other phone is so dirty. Both my screens are so dirty. It's not even funny. But anyway, yeah. I think that works. If you're big into purple and you wanted that Norvina palette, but it's, it's like way too much money. I'm not sure how much it's going for now. I think it's discontinued, but um, yeah, it was it was a, one of those larger palettes, so it was very pricey to begin with. And um, But if you want that kind of look, I think this will give it to you. Okay, well, let me see where it's time to get back to my pictures because I'm going to need them. Okay, um, let's see what we have next. Okay, see, here's the other one. It was the next thing I opened. I accidentally ordered it twice. I'm not going to put one in a giveaway. I've accumulated so much stuff now, it's ridiculous. So, um, I'm number one, going to try to quit double ordering. Number two, I'm going to try to send this back. If I can't, it'll go in a giveaway, but I'm going to, yeah, I try to send one of these back. I'm just accumulating too much stuff, and it's starting to make my anxiety even worse. <laughs> so, we don't want that, do we? Okay, I'm pulling out another makeup item, and I think then I think we're going to move on to a few other things. Um, okay, y'all, this is what I was really excited for, and I can already tell it's broken. It's already getting all over me, and this is the very one, yeah, I was so excited for. So, the very one I wanted had to come broken, but I think it's salvageable, but yeah, I'm getting makeup all over me. And as usual, I forgot a makeup wipe, but I do have a paper towel here. Maybe that'll help. Um, let me get my picture up here. I'll show you what we're dealing with. Um, yeah, I'll contact team and we'll see what they say. But I think this is a dupe, or it will work as a dupe, close enough, of the Ultimate Vintage Jean Baby Palette from NYX. I hauled several of these NYX style palettes um, in my last haul, but this is the one I was really waiting on, the one I really wanted to try because I'm really into blue eyeshadow, as you can probably tell today. <laughs> I'm on a kind of a blue eyeshadow kick, and I really just wanted to give this one a, a, a shot because it's just got so many pretty tones in it. But anyway, I do believe it is a dupe for it. Um, but the purple... In the bottom, I think in the actual palette, the NYX palette is darker, but that's okay. I can work with that. And uh, the shade that broke really bad is this slate blue-gray type color right here. But, um, and it got all up in here in the green. But I'll clean it up and see what Timu says. I feel a bit off today, y'all. I probably shouldn't even be filming. Here it is Wednesday, and I'm, um, like, pre-filming to upload on Friday. Um... I don't know why I'm just filming early. I just thought I would do it because it takes so long to upload these days. I figured pre-filming would help the situation a bit. So at least all I would have to do is do the uploading part come Friday. Um, okay, let me throw this away. And guys, again, I threw away when I was looking to uh, um, looking up my orders to share them in the description box of my last video. I noticed that I, there were a couple of things in the orders that I had, had not shown. So I went looking for them, and one of them I found in the trash can. I indeed threw away um, 
a pair of earrings, and I apparently threw away a regular, just a ring, a finger ring, but it was 89 cents, so it's not a huge loss, but I dug around the trash as long as I was willing to and couldn't find it, and I wasn't going to dig all day long for an 89 cent ring, but especially in trash, but <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I hate that. Anyway, um, this, I'm not even showing you what I'm doing here. This is a cute little kitchen timer, and none of us need a kitchen timer because our microwaves work as one, and my, our stove has a timer on it as well. And so either way, our phones, we have plenty of timers everywhere, but I just thought this was so cute. I have just gotten on the mushroom train. I, I think they're darling. And I just thought this would be so cute sitting in the kitchen. I'm probably gonna sit it up on the back of the stove, you know, where that ridge is at the top of the stove, that little couple inches wide platform. I think I'm gonna sit it up there if it'll stay, just for a cute little decorative piece. And it, let's see. Well, I think it's gonna go off on us here in a minute. Or did I cut it off? I cut it off, I think. Okay, but that's really, really cute. That is adorable. A precious little pink, yellow, and green mushroom. Precious. That's what I call my little dog. <laughs> Just precious. Okay. Next up, okay, this is going to create a big mess too. I think this particular bag that had the eyeshadow palette and this item uh, <laughs> took a beating somewhere along the way. Let me get rid of some of this really super messy popcorn stuff and see if the item is still intact. Okay, it's still intact. I'm just going to throw away all this mess, try to get it out of it. And, um, yeah, it's much smaller than I thought it was going to be. If I'm, if, if I'm going to go with this way of, of um, storing earrings, I'm going to have to get either several of these. And they come in different colors. They come in, like, green, purple, blue, pink. Maybe that's it. But anyway, these are adorable. Speaking of mushrooms, I'm still on the mushroom kick. Here's another mushroom. This is earring storage. It, yeah, I thought it was gonna be twice the size. I thought this was gonna be a really big area with like twice as many holes, but that'll store some earrings. Like if you put um, a pair in each hole, I'd probably take at least 20 pairs, depending on how big they are. And of course you can't put anything too, too long on here because it's not very tall, but yeah, it'll hold some earrings for me and get them out of my way. My jewelry box, is it looks like a cyclone hit it. It's a disaster area, y'all. I've, I've got, I need to stop ordering makeup and jewelry and start ordering makeup and jewelry storage because that's really what I need more than accumulating more stuff. I need somewhere to put the stuff I have. Okay, y'all. All right, up here next, this is another little kitchen thing. These are kitchen shears, and these are for like, if you want to finally cut up some like leeks or onions, I think leeks or onions, this a long skinny type. But um, zucchini, just any carrots, just celery, anything. And you want to cut it up like for a salad or for a stir fry or just for anything. This is just such a cute little way to do it. I like listening to them. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a neat way to do it. It's, it'll save you a lot of time. And it's, yeah, these will make some tiny slices. And my husband is big into stir fries because he's trying to get us healthier and not having a whole lot of success. But yeah, <laughs> at least helping us get some poundage off. He's been trying to cook really healthy, doing a lot of um, chicken and rice and different stir fries, beef and broccoli and different things. And yeah, we're not losing any weight, but it tastes good. At least I feel good about eating it. It's better than eating at McDonald's every day, which I haven't eaten at McDonald's in years. I passed by one the other day and I was thinking, why don't I ever go to McDonald's? And it's because I don't want to go inside and I don't feel like sitting in that drive-thru for five years. I just don't have the patience. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to take my cutter to this because I just cannot get it open. I think I just cut myself again. I just keep cutting myself on stuff lately, y'all. Look at this finger. I cut myself on the corner of the refrigerator yesterday and I think I just gave me another one. Yep, I just stabbed myself with this cutter. I hope I just don't start bleeding everywhere. As long as it doesn't bleed everywhere, we're in good shape. Okay, well, I don't know. All right, what have we got here? Let's open this up. 
it says it's some kind of lipstick. This is the packaging. And I think this is gonna be my rare dupe, or I think they're trying to dupe rare, okay? I just made hash out of this lid, as my nanny would say. Um, the main thing, I, sort of the packaging I was wanting to compare, but also the color. I have an actual rare beauty lipstick, and um, it's in the shade Humble. And this is, well, I can't read it. It's in shade 532. But I think, now, Rare it is, well, see, I thought this was going to be shaped like Rare. I must have ordered, been looking at one lipstick and ordered another one, maybe. But, um, yeah, I think they're trying to kind of look like the packaging. But mainly, I thought the color was going to be similar. But now I'm not so sure. This looks quite a bit darker. I think this was called Caramelized peach or something yeah so it's definitely going to be a brownie peachy shade but so is humble i've worn it a time or two not much let's see mm, i don't know let's try them on my hand all right rares at the top put that back up there and this one the caramelized peach that's close y'all i mean mm, the Timu version is definitely browner, but they both lean very brown and peach. I think that's why I don't wear that Rare Beauty lipstick that much. For one thing, I'm not much of a, a lipstick girl. I'm more of a lip pencil and take gloss over it, But um, which is what I did today. I have on um, Boldly Bare MAC Lip Liner, an old one I found in my drawer just going through the just to kind of survey what I had the other day. And I pulled it out and I kind of like it. It's a nude. But um, anyhow, yeah. I mean, if you like a, a, a brown, this kind of looks like the 90s actually. That brown is really making me think of the 90s. If you want that type of lipstick, this one has a really nice feel to it. It feels like it's, you know, not gonna bleed. It's gonna stay in place. Not bad. I probably won't use it. It'll probably get file 13 eventually, but yeah, when I do it declutter, but I just want to see. All right, this here, yes, this is a dead on dupe. Let me find this here. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit off today. I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm not my usual self. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. Um, Oh, but I wanted to ask you guys, if I don't knock my camera down, um, being a klutz, um, do you guys have any big plans for the Memorial Day weekend? Is it that this weekend, Memorial weekend? I'm thinking it is. So I'm thinking the pool should be open. I might go by there for a few minutes, but I don't know. I'm not that big on swimming. I was on a swim team when I was younger, but I just lost interest in it as I got older. Um... But this is duping the Holika Holika, which they have a store on Amazon, which is where I got this picture. But that's the brand. It, it's it's K Beauty, and uh, it's close. This is much cooler toned. This is much pinker. This version, this palette is by Jaded. I've had several palettes by them, and they have an H on there for Holika Holika. So that's definitely what they were trying to do. But yeah, this is more yellow and golden and cool. And this is more pinky, pinky brown. But yeah, it's a pretty, pa I like that yellow. Holy moly, I like that yellow. I think I'm going to have to play with that. That yellow and that gold, I think I might be wearing those in my next video. They're pretty. Oh, I like yellow too. Y'all know I love yellow. Okay, so that's that. We thought we had to do, or I did, but it was close, but not quite. Anyway, let me delete. Now, I'm going to delete some of these pictures as I'm done using them. Okay, so I'm going to throw that away, and I'm going to try to avoid throwing anything important away today. i got to carefully look at these little plastic bags before I dump them. Um, how do you open? Here you go. This is um smaller than I thought it was going to be. And yes, I know, I've got a problem. I keep ordering essentially the same things over and over and over again in different variations. Here's another Celestial pendant. And it's got, what is that? 
it's got kind of, it looks bluish to me, but in, in the camera, it's looking more yellow and pink. I'm not sure what it's picking up. It's pretty though. It's a pretty little stone. I like it. it it's small. Like I thought it was going to be the size of the one I wear all the time. And it's quite a bit smaller. Maybe this will end up in friend mail. I think I know somebody who likes this style jewelry. I think she just recently commented on one of my videos that we have the same taste in jewelry. Yeah, one of these, I think I ordered two very similar uh, pendants or necklaces. And I think, yeah, one of them's definitely going to end up in friend mail. Okay. Um, dang gummit. Can I get you back in there? Oh, I might have to fight with this envelope later. I wish, it, sometimes I wish their jewelry would come in something a little better than a bag, but I guess for what we're paying for it. Okay, there's that. I think I know exactly who that. Okay, that's that. And then y'all, here's practically the same necklace in another variation. I, I, th this is it. I'm going to stop with the style necklace. I have got to branch out. Broaden my jewelry horizons is what I need to do. I need to bring in more gold and quit wearing so much celestial stuff. Okay. Now, the chain came out of this. Let me see if I can get the chain back in this real quick. Oh, it's knotted, too. Oh, it's in a big knot. This is going to be fun. Yeah, I got a big knot in the chain here. See that? Yeah, I'll work on that with a needle later. But um, this is the pendant. Now, this one actually is larger. I don't want to get that back out. It was so much trouble to get it in that envelope. But yeah, um, oh, I had a hold of the little star. There we go. With it hanging, that's much cuter. That is closer to this size. And I love the yellow. It's like a fire opal is what it looks like. It looks like yellow, orangey, red. Very, very pretty. Yeah, that's a keeper. If I can just get that knot out. Well, I have other chains. I'll mess with that later. I'm going to put the pendant up here, though, so I don't lose it or throw it out. Okay. Y'all, I just talked about this in my, um, this particular thing in my last haul, so I'm not going to waste much time on it this time. Um, I talked about it way too long last time, being it's a discontinued item that my viewers are, can't, you know, get. But here's the other variation of that Odin's Eye. Reminded me of Odin's Eye. It was not any kind of dupe that I know of. But, uh, yeah. Cute packaging. Really pretty cover. Beautiful color story. I love it. All right. But those palettes can no longer be bought on Timu. So, that's a goner. Okay. Here's something different. And something I really need. And I got the picture right here. This is a dupe. And I didn't realize, um, okay, here they go. They're um, biotin shampoo and conditioner, and they're for, they have a dialo-based formula, and they're for, um, I think, hair loss. I think I was reading somewhere that this line here is good if your hair is thinning, or if you're, wow, that's broken. The way you open the lid is broken. Boy, this this bag really went through something on the way to me. It really did. I can use this anyway. I, th the way these bottles are, I think I told y'all with that last set I used, I have to take the lid off and, and get it out ketchup style anyway. So that won't bother me. I'll just go ahead and use it. But yeah, I definitely have thinning hair. I'm postmenopausal and I have thinning hair up in the crown and I need to quit wearing so many buns. That's not helping. That's a recipe for hair loss. But, um, yeah, I'm going to use these. But they're a dupe for this set here. Pure, pure, pure Dior, Pure Dior, Pure Dior. Um, yeah. Biotin Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, Amazon is asking 50 bucks for this set. Like $49.99 and free shipping, I think. I think that's where I found the picture, maybe. No, I actually found it on the puredora.com site, but yeah, I saw it on Amazon for um, $49.99 free shipping for that set. So, and there, that set's a lot larger than these, but still, heck, if it works, what a deal. What a deal, people. All right, I'm going to put you back in here because I don't want you losing anywhere just in case. Okay, guys, next. Um, okay, I don't really know what this is, but I need a hobby besides 
shopping and makeup and stuff <laughs> that involves shopping. And, and I'm so anxious. I really need something to do with my hands. Um, a hobby that like kind of works my hands. So um, I ordered this, I don't know if I should take it out. All the supplies are probably gonna fall out everywhere. It comes with all the stuff. But I looked up diamond dotting and um, I'm really not sure exactly what it is, but um, Caroline, who I watch, I always watch her hauls. I absolutely love her. Oh, what is the name of her? Um, what's her handle? It'll come to me, but Caroline Diamond Dots. So I was like, ooh, and she showed some pieces that she had finished and they were so pretty. I was like, ooh, I've got to try that. And uh, y'all know I love a moon. So um, they, this looks like the coasters I had in my last haul for my car. It looks exactly like them. But anyway, yeah, I, I think you do this and then you frame it or what have you. I'm not sure how it works, but once I get it completed, I'll do a short and show y'all how it came out and what all involved and tell you about it. But yeah, I figured this could be something fun to get into. And since I, I was looking for them and I was looking for them for a cheap price just so I could try it. And I think this was on clearance for like $2.50 or something. It was so cheap. If I don't enjoy doing it, I haven't lost much money. So, all right, here is a really big piece of something. What is this? Did I order this? Okay, this is a, c a celestial thing that's not really falling right. The sun is falling behind the moon or in front of it, however you hold it. But it's a keychain. I don't remember buying that. I think that may have accidentally ended up in my cart. It's cute. It's totally me, but I did not buy it. That may end up in friend mail too. Let me put this back in the envelope. Yeah, I don't need that. I already have like prison keys anyway. My keychain is so full of stuff. It's heavy. It really, it's literally like prison keys or, you know, uh, jailer keys. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. My medicines make me so thirsty. Okay. Let's see what we have now. Okay, this, I have these, I, I, I got two of these, I, I'm pretty sure. I have absolutely no use for them. I'm not into crystals and Wiccan or occult stuff. I, I know a lot of people who do these hauls are, so these may end up in free, free mail too, unless I find something to do with them. But I ordered these crystals, and it's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. In this case, I thought this was going to be half this size. Anyway, it, it's just made of plastic or resin, but it's made to look like a crystal with, for like meta. I, I'm not sure what people who are end up to them do with them. I think certain ones like bring good luck or stave off bad luck or I'm not sure. So I don't even need to sit here speculating, but um, that's really pretty. And let me see what the other one looks like. I think I ordered another one that sort of looks similar. They were so cheap. I was like, I'll find somewhere to put them. They're so cute or either give them away or something. How Do they go back in here somehow? I'm just gonna put that to the side. Okay, yeah, it goes back in here. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just not fully with it today. I'm always kind of, but I'm just not fully with it today. Okay. Let's see what we have next, guys, because we're already tw 23 minutes in, and we've still got a lot to go. Is this going to be another super long haul? Okay, guys, this is just an eyeliner, no dupe that I know of, just an eyeliner. It's blue. I'm pretty sure it's navy blue. I have black eyeliners out the yin-yang. I don't need any more. I, don't, I no longer really wear them, or rarely, but... It doesn't say on it, but I'm pretty sure. It's just a basic liquid liner. Let me take it off see what it looks like. I'm wearing blue liner today. I forgot I bought one somewhere recently on sale or on clearance. I found it in some clearance bin somewhere I was at. Um, but this is more of a navy, I think. The one I have on is more of a... No, I didn't order blue. That's purple. And it's actually really pretty. I was gonna say, I think I'm wearing blue liner today. But yeah, I don't have a purple one. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's see how fine it can go. 
Yeah, it can make a pretty fine line too. Oh man, that's pretty. I'm glad I ordered that. That'll be fun to play with. I love playing with colorful eyeshadow. I'm bored with black, but I like playing with colorful ones. Y'all, you know, I don't recommend trying it, but some people can use liquid liner in their waterline. Like, you know, you can with a pencil. Some people actually use, I can't get this plastic off. I'm gonna fight with it later. Karen, why are you taking up time with that foolishness when you could just deal with it later? Okay, let's see what we have next. I'm wondering if I should cut this video off here. I have another huge bag of stuff to go. Um, let me make sure nothing is left in here. I am turning this thing inside out. Y'all can see it is inside out. Nothing is left. But sure enough, I'll look at my order and be missing something and I will have thrown it away. This, okay, this I, was what I dug out of the trash for my last haul. This was in my last order. Um, I have a pair just like this, um, but they're smaller. Anyway, these are just a smaller version of a pair I already have. They've got the, they've got dragonflies. They're really cute. This is an around the house cleaning day, not going anywhere, not even running to the grocery store. This is just an around the house pair of earrings. Y'all, I feel naked if I don't have earrings on. I just can't function without earrings on. I can handle not having rings, but I have to have my necklace and my earrings on. Okay, um, and guys, I wanted to show you too. In my last haul, I bought, I hauled this choker with the little turtle, and I was telling you that I had the little stretchy bracelet that matched, and there it is. Nothing that I have on jewelry-wise is really matching this green shirt, but we're just gonna roll with it. Oh gosh, this bag is full of stuff. I don't know if this should be a different haul or not. Let me just pull a couple of things out. I'll go for a few more minutes. I'm not bleeding everywhere. I think I just pricked myself and it's just a little pink spot there. I don't think I gave myself a major cut. Thank goodness since I'm already dealing with another one. All right, what is this? This is bags inside bags. What do we got here? Oh, I know what this is. Y'all, I'm excited for that. Do I have makeup on my hands before I pull these out? Where's my paper towel? I'm lucky that I'm sitting at a big table. I have more junk. Okay. Y'all, these are supposed to be, yeah, and I can tell they are, um, super long camis for underneath your clothes, you know, like I wear all the time. And guys, this feels like rayon. This feels like a rayon knit. This actually is a nice feel. This is not bad at all. It comes in black and the, the reviews, the measurements were the longest of any camis that I could find on Timu. And, um, the reviews said that they really do stretch down over your booty and stay, which is all I want out of my cami. So, uh, yeah, I've got black. We got gray. Yeah, these are nice long camis. They might be too big. What size did I order? Ooh. I don't know what size I ordered. XL. Why does it look so big? Okay, so things like this are supposed to fit snug against you so they don't show like under your clothes really bad. I may have ordered them too big. I'll see, I'll try one on and see. Maybe I can shrink them. Um, let me see, what does it say it's made out of? Yeah, 95% rayon, 5% elastane. I thought this felt like a rayon nib. These are actually really nice quality tops. I just think they're gonna be a little big, but they will work. I'll make them work. <laughs> Y'all, a long time ago, before I started doing videos, I had bought some of those little clips um, that you can take and like make your straps go together in the back. I wish I had one here at the table with me. No, they're all in the bedroom. Um, but yeah, these clips, they're for, they can make your bra a racer back if you've got a standard bra, or they can make your shirt a racer back. They can just tighten up your straps. So yeah, I could just throw one of those little they weigh nothing and they're very easy to put on. If this is slight, if these are slightly too big, I could just throw some of those little clips on them and they will be perfecto. But yeah, I think these are gonna be great. And I will let y'all know, cause I am a tall girl. I've said it before, 5'8". And um, 
I have a short torso, I'm mostly legs. I have a very oddly proportioned and shaped body. But um, anyways, yeah, I'll let you know if they, if they really work on a tall girl body, such as mine. I'll definitely update you on those. All right, let me put that, but when are they ever gonna send me a, um, a tote bag? Seems like everybody's getting the tote bags. And they're not sending me one. I spend money with Timu, why can't I have a tote bag? Okay, what is this? Okay, guys, I think we may have something else similar. I think I may have gone and ordered something else kind of like it, but in more of a tank instead of like a spaghetti strap. And that was the thing, those did not have adjustable spaghetti straps, which is another reason why I may have to use one of those little clips in the back just to make sure they're good and tight and um, stay on my shoulders. But uh, yeah, this is a long length, just black, camp, uh, black tank top. And this does not feel the same. This is that slinky feel. And this feels like, kind of like it might have a little bit of compression, maybe a smidge. But I think it's in such a big size, it's not gonna do much compressing, even if it is. It'll be too big to take much action against my stomach. All right, let me get this bag out of the way. I'm just gonna keep pulling stuff out until we've gone way too long. Okay, this here is a dupe I am excited about. Let me get my cutter and try not to tear this packaging up because I really, I'm excited for this. I've been looking forward to it. And make sure it's the one. Come on, plastic. I'm going to have to seriously take a broom to this area when I'm done. Woo, what a mess. I got plastic shavings, popcorn shavings, stuff all over creation. Okay. Ooh, how pretty. Okay. Let me get my picture. Da 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 da. Which one are you? I'm supposed to have two in this order. Is this the one? Yes. I think this is the Huda Beauty. This is a discontinued palette, but I think you can still get it on the Huda website but um and they're always having sales if you if you skip sephora or ulta and just want to order from a particular brand's website if you think you'll spend enough like to get all the free shipping and everything it's totally worth it because they have they have sales going on all the time where you know sephora only has a little sale that's hardly anything twice a year um so anyway it's the discontinued um new nudes palette new nudes by huda and um, they've even got Huda's picture. That's Huda. So you can tell this is a dupe of her palette. But anyway, look, it is dead on. Dead on. That is a dupe. And it's pretty. Y'all, it looks like it's going to have some kick up. It looks a little bit powdery. I'm going to swatch a few shades if I can figure out how to go about it. Let me push these back. Okay, um, yeah, I want to try one of these marbled looking ones. Let's see here. Oh. Okay. Oh, these are pretty. Let's see, what shade was that? Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Well, let's, let me get this on here. Oh! I think I might have to do some double dipping on this one. It feels kind of powdery. I mean, it picks up, it's just a little powdery. Here's three of the shades. They're pretty. Let me just, where's my paper towel? I'm gonna try to just try a couple of others. I mean, why do I always forget to bring a wet wipe? Always, always, always forget a wet wipe. Okay, let's try a couple of others. Let's try this other marble one called Daydream. That's pretty. Um, tickle. Ooh, that's a red. You know what this also reminds me of? Modern Renaissance. Charmed. Ooh, that's a pretty brown bronze color. Look at those. It's like a bronze at the top, a cherry red, and then like a 
a rose gold shimmer. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. And I've got it kind of messy um, doing swatches. Let me see. Yep, I got a look. No, I see what's happening. That really glittery shade right there is kind of making a little mess. But um, I'll clean it up. Yeah, that's a pretty palette, and I'm thrilled with that. I cannot believe they had the nerve to put Huda's picture in a dupe. You go on, Timu sellers. Be bold. I tell you what. No shame, no shame in their game. Okay, I am covered in sparkle now. Didn't I have another paper towel somewhere too? I thought I had two in here. Something is falling. Here's another one. Something is falling. I just heard it. I'll worry about it later. All right, let's see what else we got here. Okay, um, y'all, this is a set of bowl fillers and I might again paint these if I can figure out a good way to do it. They're like grapevine looking little bowl fillers. This is kind of another primitive thing. But if I paint them, I might can make them look a little bit more boho. Or leave these one these ones are almost white. I might just paint the very darkest ones like a purple or blue or teal. I don't know, guys. I'm going to get on all these paint jobs I'm wanting to do eventually, and I'm going to do a video sharing all of my projects with you when I finally get it all painted up. But I've still yet to go to Walmart and really look at the craft paint section and, and figure out where I'm going to go with all this stuff as far as painting. But, um, yeah, those are cute. Those will look cute filling up a bowl or a jar. Y'all, I will toss anything into a big jar and make it a decorative piece. All right, where did that other thing go? I thought I had another one of those little crystals somewhere. Is this it? What is this? Oh, that's that eyeliner. Those are the earrings. Okay, did I have another little crystal somewhere? I could have sworn I did. Let's see what else we got here. I'm just going to squeeze it out of there. Now, see. I think this one's smaller. Yeah, this one, no, I don't know. Is it practically exactly the same? Okay, y'all. I think it's the same. Did I actually order the same one twice? Maybe not. That's pretty. Oh, I like the way the light catches it. That's really neat. It's like hollow, holographic. Oh, how neat is that? Now I need to compare them. Y'all, I'm sorry. Now I need to compare crystals here and see if I've got the exact same one twice. Now, I pr practically pretty much do, but one smaller. It's like mommy and baby heart, but they're both so pretty. Oh, they're both pretty. I'm just gonna put them, so because I'm so prone to losing things, I'm gonna put these both in the same bag together or else one will get thrown out or something. Like throwing out the baby with the bath water. I just love to throw stuff away. Okay, we're getting towards the end of the, uh, no we're not. There's a bunch in there, y'all. Oh, and I don't know what orders I'm digging into. I did not realize I had that much stuff. We're just gonna keep going for a little bit longer until it just gets entirely too long. Oh, speaking of painting, here's another wooden piece that looks super primitive. Y'all, I cannot get away from my primitive roots. I'm gonna keep this box because that's really thick and protective. Um, here we are. Here is another, I, I am just, a sucker for these things that look like an old library card catalog from when we were kids. Wait, which way does it open? I have it upside down. Genius here, genius. But anyway, yeah, these are actual little drawers. And that so much looks like an old card catalog. What color does this need to be? Y'all tell me, what color should I make this? Should I leave it? and let it look like an authentic card catalog thing, even though obviously they never came in the shape. They came in like big uh, banks of drawers, but anyway, that's really cute. That's gonna be super cute displayed somewhere. It would almost be cute to have like, um, I thought 
these like boho bead. I think they're actually supposed to be necklaces, but they're on the way. Um, they're like long beaded chains. And then at the end, they've got like some kind of like a heart or a peace sign. And then they've got like some tassel coming down. I know y'all have seen the ones if you ever like glance around with Timu, shop around on there at all. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about using them in a different place. I knew exactly what I was going to do with them. And now I think they might be on cute on display, like hanging out of these drawers. What do we think? Tell me y'all, what do I do with this? And do I paint it or no? I'll take your advice. Okay, we're gonna go just a smidge longer, not too much. Okay, these are would just be really quick to show. Y'all, I told you I'm towards the end of my brush journey here. I'm gonna have to stop ordering them because I already have piles of them for giveaways. I have piles in my bathroom and in the other room where I get ready, the office. I have a bunch of makeup and stuff in there because I like to get ready while watching beauty videos and just, y'all, <laughs> Oh my gosh, but these are pretty. I, I had to have them because they were pink and rose gold. The rose gold feral and the fact that they were pink. Your girl loves pink. What's that? Did I already look at that? Yeah, that's that tank top. Okay, let me pile this over here somewhere. Maybe I'll put it on top of this. I just keep knocking stuff down right and left. I just can't get it together. Okay, let's see if we can hit a couple other things. Okay, y'all, um, some of this might have to wait. It's just too much there, and we're already at 42 minutes. But if there's anything that I don't share in the description box, because um, I didn't, like, haul everything in the order, so I'm not going to share the entire order, you know what I'm saying? If there's anything that I don't share in the description box that you want the link to, just tell me. Um, y'all, I don't need a picture. Everybody knows the Soul, Soul de Janeiro Boom Boom or Bum Bum Cream and the scent, the Bum Bum scent, Boom Boom, whatever you want to call it. I think it's technically Boom Boom. But, um, the last time I hauled, this is the 62 fragrance, the one that's supposed to just smell like sweet brown sugar with some coconut. Um, yeah. I don't have anything in this scent right now. I have Bomb Dia Bright cream and spray, but, um, and the Bomb Dia Bright spray dupe was really good. I mean, and it lasts a little while once I spray it on. I sprayed it the day I hauled it and it lasted for several hours and still smelled fantastic. But when I hauled a dupe of this, it was just pure alcohol spurting out. I mean, it was just horrible. No scent really at all besides the alcohol. So um, they refunded me and I threw it away. But um, let's try this one and see if it smells like boom, boom, or bum, bum. Y'all, I'm not scared. Well, this is giving coconut bigly. This is not exactly boom boom smell, not to me, but it's good, it's sweet, but it's pulling more coconut than sugar. Yeah, I'm I'm smelling um coconut, then vanilla, then maybe brown sugar. But it's a nice summery smell. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of it on, spray some around my hair. I mean, it smells good, why not? If I get a headache later, I'll know it didn't work out for me. <laughs> but no, those kind of fragrances, the gourmand, the sweet, foody type fragrances never give me a headache. But when I walk into um, Bath and Body Works, Lord, I better have taken two a leave before I go in there. All those scents hit me at once. It's a hoot. I think you'd get used to it if you worked there. Though. Okay, this is uh, this has a little story with it. So let me go ahead and get this open. Where's my cutter? Here you are. Okay, get this open. Y'all have hauled this before, but I got it in a different color because I came to find out that Tarte, we all know about the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips and how every every brand practically has created a click, a click up, really thick, sticky, gooey balm, <laughs> which is what they all are. They're all really goopy, mushy, and sticky, and I can't really get on board with them. I use them sometimes because so I don't completely waste my money, you know, and not use a product at all, but I have to make myself. They're just so yucky. But um, this style, 
is not a dupe for the new one they're coming out with. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like this lip color. Um, let me figure out how this works exactly. Yeah, it pops off, but the color comes up into this sponge. You guys may have remembered me hauling this, <coughs> excuse me, and trying it on before. But the um, before I squeeze it up and try the color, let me show you what I'm talking about. So Tarte is coming out with yet another version of their ClickUp Maracuja lip oil. And this time, this time, um, it's going to have the sponge top. It's going to be like this. And so I thought that was so cool. It's like Timu was duping this before this came out <laughs> or was released to the public that it was coming out. You know what I mean? I don't think they've actually come out yet, these new tart ones that are, um, I think these are still clip, click up style. It's just the product. Yeah, they're still click up style. It's just that the product comes out in a sponge instead of, um, you know, really goopy. That may have been the, the reason why they changed it. So many complaints about how goopy and mushy and messy the applicator gets with those. But this is number four. And this is a lighter color than the other one I hauled and tried. So let me try to get what I have on off. Squeeze this up and see what it looks like. I think it's fun to see it coming up in there in the thing. Woo, there she comes. There she comes. Okay. It feels good. Now, see, this is not mushy like the Maracuja ones. I don't know if I mentioned that before when I hold this one, but I am starting to get it a little messy because I squeezed up too far, getting a kick out of watching it. But, yeah, it's still not a light shade. This was one of the lightest shades they were offering. It was, In fact, I thought it was going to be like a light beigey brown, but it's another deep color. Anyway, I like the fact that it looks like the lid kind of screws on here, too, and stays on so it won't come off in your purse and make a horrendous mess. So that's nice. I like this. Yeah, I'm probably going to wear this. This is more of a fall color. Y'all, I've got to get away from so many dark lips. But every time I try to go lighter, I feel like it doesn't suit me. But anyway, yeah, I think it's pretty cool that they were kind of duping Tarte's idea before Tarte even went public with it. Um, Excuse me, y'all. This is from one of those days. Okay, let's see what else we can pull out before. Okay, we're going on close to an hour, so we've got to stop here really soon. But let me just pull out this little sticker here. This is going to be like one of the last things because I didn't realize we were going on this long. Um, This kind of got beat up, but I'll put it under a thick book. We, I, My husband collects atlases, and some of them are absolutely huge. So, yeah, a couple of atlases will solve this girl's problem. But, yeah, that's exactly me. I'm a happy ray of sunshine. <laughs> happy go lucky ray of sunshine. No, most people would not agree with that. I can, I can have my moods. I, I seem low key, but I don't know. You know how Tauruses are. I can have a mood. All right, let me share one more thing here. And then I think we'll call it, okay, this is kind of a fun dupe. So I'm gonna share this and I think we'll wrap this up and I'm gonna, I've got so much more over here that another haul will be coming. I'm just gonna save the rest of this stuff for it and put it up there with that other bag I haven't gotten into yet. Okay. Guys, sometimes I just don't realize I'm ordering this much. <coughs> I mean, the, this stuff is just so cheap. I mean, you can order like for ten, the 10 buck medium, mi medium, minimum that they have set to ship. Um, some people will say it's $15 is the minimum they have to um, spend to ship. It's weird how it changes around for different people. But um, anyway, for me, it's 10 bucks. And it seems like for 10 bucks, I can get like at least three or four things. Sometimes more, depending on the price. But yeah, their prices are just so good. Okay, this is an obvious dupe, and it doesn't look terribly full. <laughs> but this is an obvious dupe of the Too Faced Kissing, let's see, 
kissing jelly gloss. As soon as I saw this picture, I knew that's what they were trying to do. Let's see if the dough fit looks the same. Oh, nice dough foot. The dough foot actually looks nicer than the one that's on the Too Faced. That's just a standard. This is one of those big fat lip oil. Or as Emily Noel, who I've been watching since she was in her apartment, so probably 20 years now, she was like one of the OG beauty gurus. Um, she calls these huge things a, um, a buck foot. Like, you know, like a buck is a bigger version of a deer. So a doe foot would be a small deer. You get it. She calls, but she, anyway, she calls these a bug foot, buck foot. But anyway, it's basically a pinky, basically clear gloss. I think once you get it on your lips, that might give you a little shimmer and a little pink. But I think this is going to be one that you'll want to wear over a liner if you want to give it a little bit of oomph. Or if you're just running around with no makeup on, just throw it on and it'll give your lips a little something so you're not completely feeling naked and dry. I cannot stand the feeling of dry lips. That's why I reapply stuff so much. Yeah, there's not much product in here. That's disappointing. But I say that and I have so many to get through as it is. I should probably be grateful it's not that full. But anyway, yeah, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up there. We're at almost an hour. My hauls are getting too long. Too, too long. Okay, guys, I hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend. If you have big plans, I hope you enjoy them. I hope you experience great weather. I hope your family has an awesome time. Even if you're Netflixing and chilling, I hope you have an amazing, relaxing weekend, whatever you're doing. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you um, I'll be posting this Friday, and then I'm thinking about doing a mask Monday, the following Monday, and, this, and then maybe talking about some products that I've tried, sort of like doing some small reviews while I do a mask. I don't know. Tell me what you think of that of that um, premise. And uh, also tell me what to do with this card catalog looking thing. All right, I'm wrapping it up now. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.